Hey everyone, how are we going? My name is Jay and welcome to the channel and welcome to October Lake and Planet Zoo, a project we're working on building this really large wildlife park situated in the Canadian Highlands. Today we are back here in the park. After a bit of a break, we've uh, of course been working on loads of other things on the channel, lots of Jurassic World Evolution, um, and of course we did in fact start a new zoo in Planet Zoo, which uh, is called Avaset Point. And we'll be kind of alternating between the two as we go forward because October Lake is of course winding down. We are coming up to the end of this park somehow after over a year, which is kind of crazy. And uh, as per, you know, of course we are winding things down, you'd expect I'd just start wrapping things up, doing some final few, uh, you know, smaller habitats and stuff. But uh, no, I decided to flatten a mountain and create an entirely new section of the park because... Yeah, I can't seem to bring myself to actually finish up October Lake because I really enjoy building in it. So we're going to keep going for a bit longer. We've got this new area of the park. It's built kind of next to where the saltwater crocodile habitat is, where the tropical house is. It's just above that. We've flattened out a mountain. I've created some stairs going up and added in a false kind of a lift system as well so people can get up here. And this area is going to be focused on um, some of the new European species that we've got from the new European DLC, of course. And in today's episode, we'll be featuring the Eurasian lynx, a beautiful, beautiful feline that we got in the uh, in the new DLC. Just gorgeous. Uh, not an animal I really thought about like wanting in the game, but now that we have it, I gotta say it's a really gorgeous animal. Um, absolutely brilliant and like. If you saw a few months ago, I did like a tier list of, um, well, not a few months ago, it was last month actually, I did a tier list of all the animals in the game. And uh, I got to say, probably probably all the animals in this pack would be like either A or S tier, and the lynx is definitely an S tier animal. It is just absolutely fantastic, uh, design is really great, I love the fact that it climbs a lot. This habitat that you see on screen is going to feature a lot of climbing space for the lynx because, um, you know, they're just really good at climbing. In the wild, they do spend some time in trees. They're not necessarily the... Um, they, they don't climb as much as a, some of the other big cats. They're not a big cat, really, but, you know, they don't climb as much as anything like a jaguar or a leopard, for example. But they do they do spend some time climbing, and it's good to give them some climbing enrichment. So that's what I've done here. And while we're building this habitat, uh, and you'll see it is going to make use of a lot of new climbing equipment, such as the new bridges and stuff that we got with the update. Um, let's talk a little bit about lynx themselves, because they're quite fascinating uh, creatures that I didn't know an awful lot about. First off, um, the Eurasian lynx really, most of it, um, I feel like most of their distribution really centers on the Asian part of their name. They're native to most of Asia, which is a really huge landmass. So think um, Central Asia, Northern Asia, um, Eastern Europe. Uh, all over Siberia, it, it has a massive, massive um, distribution, and the Eurasian lynx is actually comprised of quite a few different subspecies. Uh, it's again one of those situations, kind of like with the aardvark, where I talked about it before, where there's a lot of different subspecies, but whether or not there's enough like distinction between them to actually consider them different is really up in the air, and taxonomy is always kind of like weird about these things, so... Generally, I think lumping them into just the Eurasian lynx makes sense. But yeah, huge distribution all over Asia. And um, the only parts of Asia it really misses are South and East Asia. But the rest of it, you know, the lynxes are kind of all over the place, which is quite cool. They are least concerned as well. They're not super endangered, though they have been threatened a little bit by habitat loss and poaching and stuff like that. So hopefully their numbers remain good, but of course, uh, lots of animals are being threatened by things like that, so, you know, fingers crossed. And now a lot of these countries where lynx are present, uh, it is illegal to actually hunt lynx, which is really good. Uh, these guys, of course, are a type of cat. They're very much closer to house cats than they are to any big cats. Though, uh, in terms of like, the actual evolutionary relationship, I'm not super sure, though uh, I imagine they would be a little bit closer um, than big cats are, really. They do have a lot of predators in the wild as well, because in the areas that lynx are found, you do have other big predators like wolves, bears, wolverines, for example, and um, even up in Siberia, you have things like Siberian tigers and stuff like that. And because the lynx aren't particularly big, they grow to about 30 kilograms or so in size, some of these bigger predators uh, 
can take on the lynx and uh, treat them as prey. But other than that, lynx are also kind of in competition with a lot of these animals and some of the smaller ones as well, like foxes and things like that are in competition with lynxes for food because they all eat kind of smaller vertebrates. Things like rabbits, rodents, all that sort of stuff. And um, in some populations, which is quite interesting, is um, they actually can cannibalize each other to quite a large extent. Like, I believe in, um, in one population, they found that like nearly uh, five to eight percent of their actual like diet was other lynx, which is quite interesting, and obviously it could just be limited to those specific populations. Might not be the whole species at all, but uh, cannibalism is something you find in almost every carnivorous species. It's it's just something that happens usually when there is uh, you know uh, fewer resources or whether there's uh, instability in the ecosystem. Stuff like that tends to lead to things like cannibalism. Um, and yeah, I, I really like introducing these guys here. They're just really beautiful in game, and they're also very, very cute. They're just super cute little house cats, basically. That uh, you know, also apex predators. Well, not apex predators, really. They're not the apex of the food chain by any chance, but uh, they are you know very good predators. Most cats are, like uh, just in general speaking, most cats are just really efficient predators. So you know, the, the lynx is no different in that regard. I'm really glad to have them in the game. They're a beautiful new addition. I love the coats and just how well they're rendered in the game as well. Those beautiful tan markings and the spots. And of course, those incredibly distinct uh, ears, you know, with the tips, like the really long black tips. Really beautiful. But um, yeah, I, on the screen, you can see the habitat being done. It's definitely a lot more climbing based than some of the other habitats we've done in October Lake. Uh, Kind of, I tried to take cues from the snow leopard habitat that we did because they live in kind of similar areas. Though lynx live uh, at slightly lower altitudes. Though lynx do get up pretty high sometimes. They have been seen uh, really getting quite high up to above 5,000 meters, you know, in mountains and stuff like that. So that's uh, really interesting as well. Making use of some of the new trees here in the habitat. The cork oak is a really beautiful tree that I really like. Um, some of the Scots pines as well, which are... I tend to use Scots pines mainly because we have a Scots pine scratching tree, which, um, you know, it's weird if it's just the only Scots pine there, basically. Putting in lots of bracken, some bramble, and some diamond leaf willow, which unfortunately, um, in the last update, something went wrong, I think, in the program, and a few people have noticed this, is that some of the plants are a little bit distorted. The diamond leaf willow is one of them, which is a shame because it's actually the most commonly used plant in the whole of October Lake, so it's quite obvious now, so um, hopefully that gets sorted in a hotfix or an update or something like that, and uh, we get a better, you know, a, just a kind of a fixed version of that. Otherwise, I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's nice to be getting back into the flow of things with Planet Zoo. I did suffer from a bit of a creative lapse uh, recently where I just couldn't really build very well, and it's nice to get back into October Lake and put together something I'm quite happy with. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I know it's a little bit shorter than usual. I do hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about the links as well. Um, as always, I'll see you all in the next video where um, we'll probably go back to set Point and then maybe back to October Lake again. And of course, in between, there's going to be plenty of Jurassic World videos. So look forward to that. Do subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Like the video if you did like the video. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.